Hello learners, welcome back to your education channel Learn and Educate. We were learning Code of Civil Procedure 1908 under which we have studied earlier under the heading Appeals from Orders Section 104. Order from which appeal lies Section 105 Other Orders Section 106 What Courts to Hear Appeals and Section 107 and 108 under the heading General provisions relating to appeals. Section 107 Power of Appellate Court. Section 108 Procedures in appeals from appellate decrees and orders. Now, the learnings in the today's video is Appeal to the Supreme Court. Under the heading Appeals to the Supreme Court. Section 109 When appeal lies to the Supreme Court. Section 110 Value of subject matter. Section 111 11 Bar on certain appeals section triple one a appeals to federal court and section 112 savings under which section 109 when appeal lies to the supreme court under which subject to the provisions in chapter 4 of part 5 of constitution of india and the rules which are made from time to time shall be made by the supreme court regarding the appeals from the court of india and the provisions here and after contained an appeal shall lie to the supreme court from any judgment an appeal shall lie to the supreme court from any judgment decree or final order in a civil proceedings of a high court if the high court certifies if the high court certifies that the case involves a substantial question of law that the case involves a substantial question of law of general importance and to that in the opinion of the high court the said question needs to be decided by the supreme court section 101 states about uh, the chapter 4 of part 5 of the union judiciary in which it states that there shall be a supreme court of the india consisting of a chief justice of india and uh, until the parliament decides by law and prescribes uh, that a larger number can be made of the judges chief justice of the high court of a supreme court but it shall not be more than seven other judges there shall be a supreme court of india and uh, consisting of a chief justice of india and the parliament can prescribe a larger number but not more than seven other judges which states that the supreme court has the power to make rules from time to time regarding the appeals from the court of india and to the provisions here and after contained in an appeal shall lie to the supreme court an appeal shall lie to the supreme court from any judgment decree or final order in a civil proceedings of a high court and if the high court certifies here the high court certifies that the court case involves a substantial question of law of general importance the law is have an importance which is general in nature and the question is a substantial question of law of general importance and uh, it is in the opinion of the high court uh, that the said question needs to be decided by the high court it is in the opinion of the high court that the question substantial question of law must be decided needs to be decided by the supreme court now these are the repealed sections section 110 111 and 111 a are or repealed value of subject matter is been omitted by civil procedure code amendment act 1973 and the bar of certain appeals has been omitted and section triple one a appeals to the federal court has been repealed by the federal court act 1941 section 112 savings nothing contained in this code shall be deemed to affect the powers of the supreme court under article 136 or any other provisions of the constitution where it states that Section 112 states that nothing contained in this code shall be deemed to affect a shall affect any powers of the Supreme Court under the Article 136 or any other provision of the Constitution. Article 136 is deals with the special leave petition in India. Special leave petition in India under Article 136 holds a prime place in the judiciary of India and has been provided a residual power in the hands of the Supreme Court of India to be exercised only in the case when a substantial question of law is involved or a gross injustice has been done it the civil 
the special leave petition provides the aggrieved party a special permission to be heard in the apex court in appeal against any or judgment or order of any court or tribunal in the territory of india which is except the military tribunal or the court martial the constitution of india under article 136 west the supreme court of india the apex court of the country with the special power to grant a special leave, leave to appeal against any judgment or order or decree in any matter or cause passed or paid by the court or tribunal in the territory of india it is to be used in the case of any substantial constitutional question of law is involved or any gross injustice has been done it is a discretionary power which is vested with the supreme court of india and the court may in its discretion it may refuse to grant a leave to the appeal the aggrieved party cannot claim subject leave to uh, to appeal under article 136 and b to interfere in any rules made by supreme court for the time being in force for the presentation of appeals to that court or their conduct before the that court section 112 subsection 2 nothing herein and contained applies to any matter of criminal or or admiralty or vice admiralty jurisdictions or to appeal from orders and decrees of the prize courts here there is no difference between the admiralty law and the military law and the two are used interchangeably this law covers a variety of cases including contracts tort injury and other offenses that take place on any navy gabel water admiralty jurisdiction in section 112 subsection 2 admiralty jurisdiction means the jurisdiction exercisable by a high court under sec- section 3 in the respect of the maritime claims specified under the Admiralty Jurisdiction and Settlement of Maritime Claims Act 2017 the act has been passed and came into force the act came into force on 1st April 2018 in an attempt to modernize the Indian Admiralty law and align it with the arrest conventions the parliament has enacted the Admiralty Jurisdiction and Settlement of Maritime Claims Act 2017 admiralty proceedings means any proceedings which has been before a court exercising admiralty admiralty jurisdiction can be is with respect to the maritime claims under the bill will will vest with respect to the high court the act it vest the respect to high court and uh, extend to the ter- ter- territorial waters of their respective jurisdiction the central government may extend the jurisdiction of the high courts the executive department or the officers which is formally what is admiralty admiralty means uh, the it was the executive department of the officers of formally having a general authority over the british naval affairs the british naval force then the court having the jurisdiction over the question of maritime law also have the system of law administered by the admiralty courts Sex, section 112 subsection 2 states that nothing herein contained applies to any matter of criminal or admiralty or vice